Greetings, family. Greetings to every one of us. Hope we are all doing great today. As for me, I'm so blessed and honored to discuss the eternal fiery blessed mind of Abe Yahuwah, Aloahi. And this is my eternal rights given unto me by my eternal husband, Ki Yahushua HaMashiach, the eternal biblical Messiah. In all the days before he came, a woman is not allowed to exercise uh, such authority like I do now. But Yahushua gave me that right. First Corinthians chapter 11 verses 3. We see over there the chains of order. That Abbe Yahuwah is the head of King Yahushua HaMashiach. That King Yahushua HaMashiach is the head of the man. And man is the head of the woman. That is a married woman. Your husband is your head. A married woman like me, Yahushua direct is my head. That is the change of order. So I'm under his authority and I speak from his authority, the right hand fellowship he gave unto me right from the very day he rose from the grave. He gave the testimony of resurrection unto the woman. And the woman saw the risen king of glory first and I said unto her go to my brethren and tell them I am raising I am going to my Abba and unto your Abba to my Elohim and unto your Elohim tell them to meet me in so so place at so so time King Yahushua gave woman the testimony of resurrection and of the secret ascension she alone knew about the secret ascension maria matala when yahushua is going to ascend up she alone knew about it and the very time she excuse me he is descending so that is my anointing and that is my restoration and from that glory i speaks to irresponsible men all right, so that's why I love Yahushua HaMashiach who gave me this eternal glory. And no one can take that away from me. Say Maria Magdala has, you know, found that, lay hold on that, which is good. The only one thing that is needed, she got it. No one can take it from her. And that is who I am. That is my foundation as a woman. Hallelujah. I just baruch you, Abbe Yehovah. You are worthy, eternal. Yes, you are. I love you. I just love my bow. Yeah. I just love my bow. I just love my bow. Mm. I just love my Yahuwah. Who has done me so well. I just love my bow. Hey. I just love my bow. I just love my bow. Mm. I just love my bow. <laughs> Hallelujah. I speak from the authority of King Yahushua Hamashiach. Fearful, let no demon trouble me. <laughs> okay, I can't say you are a woman. Shut up. Nah, nah, nah. I tap from that anointing. A glory of resurrection. Woman saw that first. So that's what I'm doing. I'm preparing this way. It's almost here. I'm just preparing the way of King Yahushua. Hamashiach, <laughs> the biblical Messiah. All right, now, family, with things be said, here we are in the heavenly court room of Abba with this powerful message titled for you and me. Adeboye, Oye Dikbo, Sulema, and Ko. And the apoc Jesus are evil spirits that is poisoning and killing our spirits with lies. Did you just get the title? Let your antenna go high. Let your antenna go high. This is a platform where we teach the raw word of Abi Yehua with 360 degree volume on table. But if your antenna goes, you know, high to the sky, 
you're going to call the revelation. These are evil spirit. These are evil spirit. These are not normal human beings. These are fallen angels. So we're going to dig into that. We're going to, you know, <laughs> I suppose another, you know, a mystery is concerning all this agent of Satan. All right, now, like I always love to say, it's not by sensational, emotional, radiation, burning, personal. Personally, I don't have nothing absolute against them. But when it comes to the royal loss objective, they are my eternal enemy. I have every single thing against them. Each time I study the royal law, I see it condemning them every step of the way, condemning the Pope Jesus and all these masquerading apostles. All right, so let's do it together. Now, I'm going to put a Sunday again between the biblical Messiah King Yahushua HaMashiach of Nazareth and Pope Jesus Christ from the pit of hell. This one is a Sunday theme and is about to go to where he came from. This is the folly of Jesus, 100%. Because when the biblical Messiah appeared, the unbiblical goes down, goes down the pit. Rebo bobo bo who send the labo rebo sikaya bo seke rema santa labo nerike yanta labo sendi he riko skalabe ne orimo shanta labo seke let no debo trouble me for this vision all right now let us begin to put another word of abey yehua yes abey yehua thank you for you has already taken your seat thank you ruach hakodesh hey the fire you have already taken your seat. Unquenchable fire. Thank you, King Yahushua Hamashiach. Mm, concerning this very matter, you have already taken your seat. I love my Abba. Hallelujah. Lift Yahuwah haya haya. Lift Yahuwah haya haya. Lift Yahuwah, ay 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 Lift Yahuwah, ay 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 Lift Yahuwah, ay 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 Hey, lift Yahuwah, ay 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 Lift Yahuwah, lift Yahuwah, ay 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 Lift Yahuwah, ay 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 Hey, lift Yahuwah, aya aya oh. Mm. Lift Yahuwah, hey, aya oh. Lift Yahuwah, aya aya oh. So what is the title? Pope Jesus and all this nonsense, Christa you know me, Pastor Gila. What did that one call him? Said Joshua Gila, on that bastard. They are all evil spirits. To be Joshua, all Christian don't pastor. They are all what? Evil spirit that is poisoning our spirit and killing our spirit with lies. Listen, you cannot best know as John chapter 8 32. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Come on now. So, what is the job of the truth? And who is the truth? It is the biblical Messiah, Yahushua Hamashiach. Okay, that said. No one comes to heaven only by him. He said, I'm the way, I'm the truth, I'm the life. And no one goes to heaven but by me. The only one messianic sign was three days and three nights. Matthew 12, 38 through 40. The Pharisees came and demanded a sign. Are you the one? How are we going to know? We are not sure. Can you just give us a sign? Enough that for us to lay hold on the sign. Are you actually the awaited one? And I said, come on now. This is the sign that I have for you guys. Just as Jonah was in the belly of fish three days and three nights. So will it be with me? Be in the heart of the world three days and three nights. And three plus three. How many is there? Three days, three nights. Jesus, that's how he died on Friday. 
three o'clock, you can find that in Matthew 27. And they said, this same Jesus raised on Sunday early morning. Come on now. He missed it. It can never be the biblical Messiah. Assuming uh, you go to the Pharisees those days and you tell them, they don't have such sign. They only have the sign of Jonah. And we know the fish is a miracle. And fish swallow Jonah. Afterwards, he now vomited Jonah. That is a miracle of resurrection. Uh -huh. And fish is a miracle. And Jesus couldn't get it. They said this same Jesus died 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Friday. That's why they are celebrating their Good Friday. But I'm calling it Bad Friday for them. Because it's a lie. And uh, Sunday early morning. They said this same Jesus. Just a day and they have come on now. These are two different deities. These are two different deities. You might be offended by now. But a time will come. If you are the people of the book. It's a surgery. It's going to tear that belly and push that lies out of you. Now, what is life doing? What is the nature or what is the job of the of a lie? Is to, is to put you in band. You shall know the truth, which is Yehoshua, and the truth shall set you free. So in order for the truth to carry a surgery on you, so what happened? Which means lies has you know, put you in band. Lie engraved you. Lie binds you. He arrested you in the bottomless pit. So who is a lie? A lie is also a deity. Okay. We know the biblical Messiah make it so clear that he is a husband. And a lie he is also a father and a husband. And here we are at verses 44. Who is a lie? Ye are of your father the devil. That is the Pharisees that is telling lies. The lust of your father, ye yeah, would do. That's where we are going to now. What is the lust of his father? He was a murderer. He will kill your spirit. Let me tell you. We have uh, internal and external. Internal, there is death inside. External, we carry out the duty. So before the external will take place, the eternal has already you know, occurred in the spirit realm, the eternal, okay? Eternal, that is your spirit. He's dead already, though yet you live. So the astronaut is going to carry it, and that is where he's not going to manifest physically. So that's what lies does. Poise, pollute, you know, everything inside of you. Listen now, yeah, of your father, the devil, and the last of your father, yeah, would do. He was a murderer. And we'll see how he killed Right from the beginning. He said from the beginning. That's where we are going now. And abide not to the truth. No, no. He has never held on to Yehoshua. He want to be on his own. Because there is no truth in him. Because Yehoshua, Yehoshua doesn't dwell there. Where there is a lie, you can't find him. Christianity is the spirit administration of lie. And that lies is going to pollute and mess up your, your, your totality. Poisoning your soul, spirit, and body. Okay. And killed. When he speaketh a lie, listen, he speaketh on his own. NIV say he will begin to speak his own language. That is twisted. To twist it, that is his own language. For he is a liar and the father of all liars. So he's a father, we see already. So where are you being called a father, which means you have a wife. Christian is the bride of this liar. How are you going to tell that? Check out every single thing they do. It's not biblical. Started from their Sunday or sun wash. It simply means Sunday day or so. It's in the history. Your Easter, your nonsense, Christmas. Everything you do. Your Jesus is Jesus. Everything. It's total nonsense. It's total nonsense. Not that you missed one thing. Okay, we can consider. The whole, the, the, everything is another gospel. Christ is a fallen angel that came with another gospel. And Jesus is the fallen angel that came. This is another angel. They preach another rest of day. Sunday, we are by the biblical say the Bible says Shabbat. They pre preach, on, excuse me, they preach another Messiah. A day and they have Messianic side that on Friday, rest on Sunday, early morning. Who does that? Where is it from? They preach another uh, Messiah birthday, December 25th. They preach another new year, January 1st. Meanwhile, the Bible they carry says is March resurrection. Spring time. In fact, these people, they are another thing entirely. They preach another gospel. All right. We have a lot of scriptures to dig into. So, you see, I would also like us to go now to their origin, okay? Can we do that? Another gospel. 
This bastard, the Vidoyedikbo, said they portray the book as evil book to the world. That is my that, that is my problem. Okay, assuming they all go by their mystery Babylon, Babylon, that should have been fine. Okay, you can worship whatever, worship stone, worship, worship wood, worship fully deity. That is my problem. But get the book out of your hand. It's an abomination. You are adding. You add. It's a huge cause. Come on now. Galatians chapter 1 verses 8 to 9 plays a huge cause. Of course, another angel with another gospel. Now, Revelation 22, 18 to 19 also plays another cause. Another gospel. If, if you add, these are added system. You are on that cause. Now, we wonder the, what they are. That is the lie in it. Now, this bastard. Look at him. He's a bastard. Okay. All of them, you are all bastard. Yeah, what's my thing? Did you, did you get that? You are all useless. Did you get that? Thunder strike all of you in Yahuwah's mighty name, including your Jesus. In the mighty name of Yahuwah. You see what I'm doing to you guys? Exactly what the word is doing to our book. So you're going to be receiving it in several ways. Listen now. This bastard, Oyedikbo. Oyedikbo. Yes, said. This is how he portrayed our book to the world. Said, Abba Yehovah, a merciful Yehovah. Ha now, that once made Job the richest man in his own days. Ha, he said this Ogun, thunder will strike this man 100%. He's going to die horrible death. These two people, we fat, these three people. All of you fat. Yeah, what's my TV? Now, this bastard said, the only reason why Abiyah why allowed Satan to destroy the children of Job, it was because Job refused to pay tithe. Oh no, how could you? That is strong blasphemy. That is strong blasphemy. How, how, how could you do a such a thing? When unbelievers listen to that message, they're going to run away. You portrayed my Yehovah. You portrayed my lovely, compassionate, awesome, forgiving Abba Yehovah to the world as a wicked God. That can kill persons, ten, persons, ten children, and it all in the name of tithe. <sighs> when I saw that, I said, Unbelievable, this strong blasphemy. These people, I'm gonna be sorry for them. Then, this bastard Okuto also said, Oh, now, tithe was the original sin in Genesis 3. So, Abbe Yewa ushers a eternal link of fire because somebody ate tithe. Because somebody touched his tithe. Adam and Shawa, the first man, the first two man, he said it was that which belongs to Abbe Yewa, the earth. That was the reason Abbe Yewa chased them away. Meanwhile, when Abbe Yewa created, created the whole world in Genesis 1, there was nothing of that. It never demanded no foreign race from nobody. No, from angel, no, from anybody, because there wasn't, he never even, by his own power, he don't need money. When he said, let there be light, and there was, everything Adam and Shawa need was already uh, put in order, was already awaited. They only came to me to rest, diamond, the pearls. You know, all these expensive stones, gold, even the Abba Yehovah just put everything there for them. And the tree, he said, don't touch. It is simply the tree of knowledge of good and evil. That tree was the darkness that covered the surface of the earth. That tree was just not, not just an, uh, an ordinary tree, mm -mm. a bird, <coughs> excuse me. A deity like he is the tree of life eternal, and that tree was the tree of death. That was why Bayawa said, Don't touch that tree, he has knowledge of evil. What was the evil? Because the rebed in heaven, Abayawa cast that down. According to the Gospel of Bartholomew, we see that we are all dead for 40 years. These folly deities, how Abayawa threw them out of his heaven when they declare war, okay, concerning the planets because they said they want to take that a rule. Outside Yahuwah. But it's the father but Yahuwah said, No, you're gonna rule but inside of me. In my country, they said, No way. That was war in heaven. Before Abbe Yawana order his son in Jamikel to throw them out of his heaven. And they fell. Immediately they fell and that became the darkness of this world that covered the surface of the deep, which is in Genesis chapter one. So that was what Abbe Yawah told the first man, the first man, don't go to that tree. It's a deity. 
Mm, folly angel, don't go, don't touch, don't, don't do anything with him. Because if you do what, you're going to die. Because it is the tree that carries death. But this bastard, this destructive animal, a day boy, you now say it was tithe, almost tithe the earth. Oh, I shall never be well with you people. In Jehovah's mighty name. This, this, the, the punishment of these people in the link of fire is going to be the hottest place. Leviticus 26 says so. I bet you say when you sin, you don't want to repent. You didn't put no grief. But it said when you keep sinning, I will punish you seven times. Okay? That is the lowest punishment in hell, seven times. The grief. It said if you don't stop, you keep spreading to wickedness. It said a girl will punish you seven times. If you don't also stop it for that, you the sin continue. He said that God will punish you seven times. So he said, if you keep doing this, you can you don't want to let he said again yet I will punish you seven times. That is the 28 degree, 28, 28 degree hottest place in the lake of fire. That is the most that, that is the most, that is the hottest place. All these folly angels, evil spirit, that is where they are going. In Yahweh's mightiness. So you see what they are doing to my Messiah, a lovely father. My Yehua, you see what how they portrayed him to the world to be a very wicked God that can kiss somebody, that can throw people into fire, or in the name of tithe, that can destroy people, children, ten whole children, or in the name of tithe. Ah, thunder will strike you, Jesus Lima. Thunder will strike you, Adeboye. Thunder will strike you, Jedikbo. Thunder will strike all of you. You masturbate Christ or oh, Yakin Christ or oh, Yakin on me. Thunder is going to strike all of you, Yahuwah's mighty name, because you know better. The book is so clear. The Bible is so clear. But you decide to twist the word of Abba in like manner. Thunder is going to destroy you in Yahuwah's mighty name. So now let's go back to our study. Now I want to go to the beginning, how they kill the lies. First of all, internal that will kill you. That is your spirit is gone. And the external will not be your physical word to carry that. See how he killed the first man and the first man. It's, these are his children. Okay, because he said the lust of your father, he, he will do. He was what? A murderer. He's a murderer. Right from the beginning, this is what he's doing. What, is, what did he use to kill the first man, the first man? <sighs> Perish it. Best known as Genesis chapter 3, verses 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the feet, which, is Yahuwah, which Yahuwah Elohim had made. And he said unto the woman, Ye hath Yahuwah said, Ye shall not. It of every tree of the garden. And the woman, verse 2, and the woman said unto her, and the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, Elohim hath said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die, because this tree is called death. Don't, don't join yourself with him. For, and the serpent, this is the lie. He twisted it. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. And for you who are doeth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods, not good and evil. You see what he did? For right away the woman desired, and she go. And she now ate death. She never ate no tat no ogun ware yo ohun. Adeboye in Yehowah's mighty. You see what ushers in this eye deceived them. And I bet you wanna chase them away. They were naked. What is nakedness? Nakedness simply means you are exposed to destruction. But still, I bet you want in his mercy. How can I bet you wanna set forth his son to die for the sins of the world? So you have to go through that trauma or in the name of tithe? Or in the name of just come out tithe. Ah oh, no, these people they can make full of things and anyway, let's let's drop that. This is your judgment, okay? So you see what happened. This is how he killed right away spiritual death. The internal uh, it, uh internal death took place. Because death simply means you go out of the presence of Yehovah. We are running out of time. He not chased them out. So what did he used to kill them? Kill their spirit lies. He points it them. That when you eat death, it will pollute every system of you. Let's put some more. You see how he to to study the scriptures with lies. Oh, actually, you can also keep Sunday. Do you really mean we have to keep only Shabbat, not Sunday? Do, do you really mean we have to celebrate only biblical feast and not Babylonia? And do you really mean we have to stick with what the royal law says and just go by that and not add in our own? What about tithe? Do you mean we cannot even use that to trade on people? 
Oh, come on now, we can buy four private jets from this. Oh, no, we can loot money. We can become a looter from this. No, it's a merciful father. Don't even bother yourself. Let's do it. They begin to plant that nonsense in their heart. And they now, you know, become fat. That now became their best teaching. That they talk every single nonsense when, when it comes to this tithe. So this, you obey that sister. That is how they poison your spirit. You give it there your money every single month. Whereby the scripture never says so absolute. Tithe goes to two categories of people. The farmer and the x men That's it. Another one is different. The one they call first fruit is your first anything that openeth the womb. Whether animal or human belongs to Yahuwah. It has nothing absolute to do with money. So the tithe is every, every year. Some are once in three years, some are every year, not even every month, and it has nothing absolute to do with money. So the point is your spirit. Now Luke chapter 15. Let's quickly see. Though you leave the eternal, okay now. The eternal is dead. And if you don't repent, the external will carry it out. That's what we are saying. Now listen now. Luke 15, the prodigal son is your message today. Return back to the book, okay? Return back to the bands of covenant. Let's not, it's a command of her, my people. Revelation 18, verses 4. Habayah was a command of her, my people. Come out of these fallen angels. He said, in order for you not to share from their plex. Plex is coming. I'm saying it. You are not believing me. Okay, plex is coming. Run out of these people camp. I'm not saying come to me now. I just tell you, I'm telling you, return back to the bands of the covenant. I keep Shabbat holy. It's a shadow of eternal rest. Keep it holy. King Yahushua HaMashiach. The biblical Messiah was the one who walks. Was the one who rests. He was the one who rested, not his father. Genesis 1, he did it all. And Genesis 2, he now rested. He was the one who set Shabbat aside. He died in the midst of the week, according to Daniel prophecy. He rests, okay, on the Shabbat, midst of the week. That is the day you call Wednesday. He gave up the spirit three o'clock in the afternoon at the evening sacrifice. Count it. Thursday, uh, Wednesday, three o'clock. Stroke, Thursday, that is one day. Friday, that is two days. Shabbat, three o'clock. This man raised from the, that is how he is the Adonai of Shabbat. Because he rested. That makes his eat or not rest. He rests on the Shabbat. You can't find him on Sunday. You worship some for the angel. Okay. The Sunday is the number one. It means work it time. Eternal no rest. Come out of her, my people. In order for you not to share from their plex. You can share. It's a, it's, which means these are not people. It's, it's not saying, hey, I bet you what did they say? Uh, my, uh, devil's people. But my people come out of her so that you will not be a, pun a part of, his, of their punishment. You can be punished for what you are ignorant of. Okay? Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. It didn't say the people of the devil. But my own children is, is destroyed. They're destroyed for lack of knowledge. How can you see the Bible so clear? You doing Babylonia? That is witchcraft. They are fallen angels. They are evil spirits. Quickly, let's have so much to put on this, oh my father. You see the prodigal son, 11. And he said, he set in my heart two sons. And the younger of them sold and said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that falleth to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son got that all together and took his journey into a far country and wasted his substance there in reckless living. So what was that? Salvation. You cannot treat, you cannot handle your salvation outside the Yehovah. You cannot cover yourself outside Yehovah. You cannot give yourself rest outside the, the rest Yehovah gave the pardon. You cannot end salvation outside Yehovah. He said Jesus is going to give you. You can, you can. But the devil asks, it doesn't matter. That is his English name. That is a lie. If you have to call me say, but his, his English name is simply me Joshua. No, his English name Joshua simply means salvation. Salvation is his name. His father's name is I am that I am, which is Yahuwah. Jude Wahe. I hear her way here. 
So in English, it simply means I am that I am. And Yahushua said, I come in my father's name. Uh, John chapter 5, verses, uh, verses 43. He said, you receive me not. Oh, not that one is on his way coming for you. And him, ye shall receive. And you are receive your enemy, the fallen angel, the fallen spirit. Angel, you are worshiping him, and this is the one that is deceiving, lying to the whole world. So the the younger child, pack all his belief. That is, you took your portion of the family, which is your salvation. You now went outside. You now squander it all. How can you end your salvation outside the biblical way? How can you get salvation outside Yahuwah's instruction? How can you do it on your own? How can you get to heaven? Yahushua said, "I'm the way." And the truth, and I'm the very life you are in need of. You can't get that life in Jesus. No. Never. So a lying spirit deceived him. Okay. He packed together. It goes to a foreigner. That is link of fire. Eh? In fact, but let's be, but don't cross your boundary. You are about to cross your boundary. You have been walking on this journey. It is a journey of no return. There is a red mark. Abeyewa has already said. Don't, don't step your feet in there. It is no return if you step your feet in there. Return back. The journey is endlessly. It's eternal. You can't. can't. Now you see the younger one begin to hire himself to begin now begin to beg, you know, a pig to, 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 for him to eat the food of pig. What is the food of pig? What is pig? What the, what is the meaning of Jesus? Jesus simply means and the pig. When you take it to Latin, to Hebrew means nothing. It don't has no meaning. But take it down to Latin, it simply means eat pig. The pig of this world is picked or is simply me unclean. So quickly, let, re, let us read 24. We are going out of time. 24 verses 24. For this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and is found. And they began to marry. Can you let that happen today? Said the day. One sinner repent. Heaven celebrates angel party. Can you allow angel to party over your returning back to your father? We were all one prodigal son. Jesus Christ lied unto a poison our spirit and kill our spirit with lies. But you shall know the truth and you will return back to your Abba. Can you do that? that can you do yourself that favor today? Don't cross the red band. There is a band, there, there is a red line, excuse me, boundary. Don't cross over there. If you enter, it's a far journey, it's a journey of no return. It's a journey where you will keep walking and walking. You can't end it. Don't, don't, don't put yourself in that situation. Don't, don't, don't get destroyed. Don't, don't, don't get destroyed. Don't let this scripture be fulfilling you. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Come on now. Come on now. It didn't say the people of the devil. Don't be in that category. We put some more. Let's check out Romans chapter 9 verses 4. What was his heritage again? His heritage, it is the royal law. He took it and threw it away. He now began to keep feces. He now left the royal law. Romans 9, 4 make it so clear that your, the, the, the covenant is your heritage. The kingdom, the glory is your heritage. How can you let go for, because of your lack of knowledge? But somebody, I bet you, why is easy for you today? Calling you back to himself is the nature of this segment. He said, yet you live. Or you are dead already. Your spirit is gone. That's what they are doing. Are you, do you want to wait until the external one manifests? Revelation 3 1. And, and unto the angel of the uh, congregation inside this, right? This thing saith he that had the seven spirits of Yehovah and the seven stars. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou liveth and art dead. You think you are alive. He said, but you are dead already. So what is out of you now? Your spirit, the eternal, is being kept in the spiritual prison of destruction, which is the bottomless pit. Do you want to wait to, for it to manifest physically? Because that is what lies does. In order for truth to carry a surgery on you, which means lies has caused some damages, terrible one. Don't, don't cross the red band. Don't cross it. It is a journey. It's a far journey of no return. Lying spirit is so fiery everywhere. He said the devil, Revelation 12, now the devil deceiveth the whole world. Do you want it to kill you with lies? Come out of her, my people. First Timothy chapter 5, verse 6, six listen now. But she that liveth in pleasure is dead. Why? She liveth. 
Now, what is he saying? He said, even though you say you see yourself, you live. He said, but you are already dead because you live, you live in wickedness. He said, you are dead already. What, what, what is killed out of you? Your spirit. The eternal is already dead. Don't let it manifest. Now, a thing can still be done about that. And that is the message. Yeshua knows the truth. Let this message carry a soldier. Now you to lose your spirit from the camp of Jesus. I'm not saying come, come to me. I don't do that. If you listen to my message, you say this is not self-propaganda. This is propagating the royal or the raw word of Abbe Yehua. Return back to your Bible. I was once a more Christian. But Abbe Yehua helped me out 15 years ago. When I began to study everything they do, I don't see. I couldn't find I couldn't lay hands on it. I was crying in my spirit. I couldn't cope with them. I spent about seven years over there before and I met my Yahushua Hamashiach. Okay? You can also do like that personal relationship. Study the Bible and keep what is there. Keep the Shabbat holy. Return back to the holy name. That is where salvation is. He said there is no salvation in any other name. Salvation, that is the biblical Messiah's name. Joshua. So, but he said, I come in my father's name because he carries his father's name. His father is Yahuwah, meaning I am that I am. His son's name is Yahushua, meaning I am that I am his salvation. No, no, I am that I am. Meaning I am his salvation. Come on now. His father's name is Yahuwah. I am that I am. His son's name is Yahushua. I am his salvation. So if you remove I am away, it will not be Joshua. Meaning salvation. What are you seeing from Jesus? Talk. That is another one. Jesus has already been tested completely. That is why I quote. Nothing in Jesus. Everything you are seeing is a lying wonder. Everything you are seeing is a deceiving miracle. Everything you are seeing these people call Christian is a lying spirit. Because they are. that is their mission to lie, to deceive you, to kill your spirit, to poison your spirit. Okay, to bind you with them because they know where they are headed to already. They just want to take you along. That is the ministry of Jesus Christ. So I won't read here. I will just quote it. Okay, in order for us to look into their origin. Uh, I read Ephesians 6 already. No, First Timothy 5, 6. We read that one already. So Ephesians 2, uh, verses 1. Read it on your quiet time. And verses 5, is, is, it means the same, okay? Colossians 2, 13, it means the same. Okay, it means the same. The first John uh, 3 verses 4. So what is it? What? Okay, I will read some. Now Colossians 2 verses 13. And you being dead in your sins. Sin means a killer. And who is sin is a deity. You can face says sin knocked at your heart. Now the door of your heart. And we will see what is sin. And the uncircumcision of your flesh. Hath he quickened together with him uh, having forgiven you all trespasses okay because their handwriting has already been brought it's only for you to come now to the knowledge and if you refuse that knowledge refuse that knowledge they are going to be destroyed my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge why are you eating feces why are you eating pork why are you for what, what oh no oh no oh no you are playing games with your eternity Oh no. Okay now. Let's go there. Now you see, let's see what is sin. First John 3 verses 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. That is simple definition. Sin simply means you break the royal law. And this sin, you say Yahushua, the Lamb of Heaven, manifest to, to take uh, the sins of uh to, to take away the sins of the world. He is the day to the gods of this world. Okay. Say simply me, you break the royal law. You destroy the royal law. You are not keeping the royal law. You are living under some worship regulation. We cast out devil. We profess. We do many wonders in your name. Yahshua said, no, that is in me. You walk us of iniquity. What is iniquity? You live in lawlessness. And what is lawlessness? That is sinful life. What is sin? Breaking the royal law. That was why Yahushua said unto that woman, go and break the royal law no more. Go and sin no more. Go and sin no more. Go and break the royal law no more. That is the only definition. Okay. You break the royal law. You do wonders in iniquity. Who does that? That is Jesus. The pork. 
And he's not going to come to you to say, break the royal law. No, just as he twisted it, lies in his craftiness, deceived the first woman that ushers in eternal link of fire. That is the journey far off land. You separate yourself like the prodigal son separate himself from his father's house and say, I can end my salvation by myself. That isn't true. That is a lie. Now listen. Don't let Abeyuwa give you a judgment of abandonment. Second uh, Thessalonians chapter 2. I'm not going to read here for the sake of time. I will return back again in good time to do this very message one, once again, okay? Verses 8 to 12. What did Abeyuwa say? He said, because... You don't love, you don't have love for the truth. I'm going to, you know, send you a strong delusion. That is sending you the spirit of life. And Jesus is the strong delusion. He didn't say easy one. He said, but very strong one. Strong delusion. Strong. Strong. So now he's breaking out of his own elect. If it were possible, it's not possible, okay? So then, sending you strong delusion, that simply means judgment of abandonment. I give up on you. You are gone eternal. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Go and you know and see what link of fire is. Now, First Kings chapter twenty-two. Go and read it in your quest. Huh? It sent a lying spirit. A lying spirit is to kill your spirit. Now, First Samuel sixteen, fourteen through fifteen. Go and see how Abba Yehovah sent the lying spirit to trouble uh, uh, Saul. How many times did Saul sin? Only one time. How many times did they mix it? Just one time. Abba Yehovah get him out of the way. And not give him that evil spirit to trouble him. Psalm 78, 49. Go and read it. Go and read it. It's Abbe was sent, you know, evil angels to trouble you, to torment you. That is judgment of abandonment. When you also read Mark chapter 5, go and read it. Legions of demons, that is how they trouble you. They will chase you away from your house. That is the clear pitch of Mark chapter 5. The man that was living in the grave, even though yet he lived. He is dead already, he was in the graveyard. But Yahushua now came, now asked how many of you said before, there are many legions. So now I want to go and unveil. In the book of Enoch, chapter 15, please, when you have all, uh, read it. We're not going to be ready all. Uh, okay. I want to tell you the assignment. I bet you give unto this evil spirit. I bet you one name to evil spirit. Let's go there. I only have five minutes to go. Quickly, let me read here. Psalm 8, uh, 78, 49. He cast upon them the fierceness of his hunger. Now he's rejected you already. So hungry now. Wrath and indignation. And trouble by sending the evil angels among them. So, what is the nature of the evil angel? Is to trouble you. That is judgment of abandonment. We also see that in Romans chapter one, verses twenty, way down to the very uh, last verse, it gave you up to uncleanliness. The evil angels, the evil spirit, Christian. You know, man, it's evil spirit. Oh, Christian, don't pastor. In fact, ninety-two percent of the whole world population are evil spirits. See the serpent. Let's prove that. The book of Enoch, please, if you have it, chapter 50, read it all. It was, it's, it's so awesome. We are the fallen angels now beginning to uh, beg and Enoch to intercede for them. How about you want to say shame on you? you? I created you to watch over men. Why should men not intercede for you? Why? All right. I want to start from verses 8. No time to read it all. Okay, I start from verses 8. And now... The name he gave to Christo Masturbator, Oyaki no me, mm, and uh, Jossi Sule, Madi Totolika, mm, or David Oyedipo, and all these useless Adeboye. This is the name he gave unto the listener for good times, sir. And now, the giants who are, pre who are preceded from the spirits and flesh shall be called evil spirits, sir, upon the earth. Now, woman can only give flesh. It, it is the man that gives spirit because woman came for flesh and that is all she have to give to the man in order for the man to put in his spirit. And that's, it was sex that took place in Genesis 3. It has nothing to do with food or tithes. No. Sexual intercourse. Genesis 6 will also get that picture. If they now use idiom, they say it's, it's something, they add something. It was sex. Okay. And now the giants who are preceded from the spirits, which is the folly watchers and the folly angels, and flesh, which is the woman that gave them her egg, shall be called evil spirits upon the earth. That is Christa Oyakinome, John Sisule, uh, destruction, the Totolika, 
they are evil spirits. Upon the earth and on the earth shall be their dwelling. Evil spirits have proceeded from their bodies because they are born from men and from the holy watchers in their beginning and primary origin. They shall be evil spirits on the earth. Evil spirit shall they be called. Did you how many times? Four good times. That is the name he named them all. Cain was the first evil spirit. Okay. Ten. Uh, listen, want to give us some now. Uh, as for the spirit of heaven, in heaven shall be their dwelling. Okay, let me just go to Levin now. And the spirit, Levin, and the spirits of the giants. Yes, he um, has the mission. And the spirit of the giants afflict, oppress, destroy, attack, do battle, and work destruction on the earth and cause trouble. They that they take no food, but nevertheless hunger and thirst and cause offenses, and these spirits shall rise upon and shall rise upon shall rise up and against the children of men and against women because they were preceded from from them. Did you get that? So all these crystal your kingdom, they are all evil spirit rising up, rising against you. How are they rising against you? By twisting the royal law. By feeding your spirit with lies. You see, your money they are taking from you physically, it represents your inheritance. This is how they, are, they, 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 they took it from you. This is how they steal from you because you enter agreement with them. You see, that was why First Timothy chapter 2, I think verses 10 to 15 said, Woman is in the transgression. But when you read Genesis 3, the man ate and the woman ate. It was both that ate that whatever. But when you go to First Timothy, Chapter 2, 11 to 15 said, Woman, you we are the one that is in transgression. Why? Why the man is not in the transgression? Because the man never gave egg. The woman only have flesh to give. The woman commit the wickedness. The woman buried, okay, her womb, the only divinity, Yehovah divinity in her, in her and not give it to the folly deities in Genesis 3. That's what he went to. He went to the woman because she's a helper. He, that's why he have a dialogue, negotiate with the woman to give him his womb. And the first evil spirit sent on this earth, manifested demon, that is producing demon into flesh, it was Cain. Christian, you know me? Oh, Christian, the pastor, uh, evil spirit. You see the assignment because Abba Yawa gave up on them already. Anyone that followed their ways, you see the assignment he gave to the evil spirit to trouble you. When some miss it, Abba Yawa sent evil spirit to trouble him. He sent evil angel to trouble the world because the world is filled with violence and wickedness of this folly deity taught by the folly deities. The Bible is so clear. At least you can trust the Bible. Why can't you trust the Bible? Why trust the word that says? Pay tithe every month. Where did you find that in the royal law? It's even once in a year. It has nothing to do with money. All right, family, we are done for now. Mm, tomorrow we'll do another one. We are done for now. I will return back to this message to call out my sisters and my brothers in Christendom. It's a graveyard. Come out of her, my people, so that you don't share from their plagues. Don't be destroyed because you are the people of Yahuwah. He has chosen you. You are the elite. Come out of uh, the people.